Hi everybody, I am Kanishka from Dwemski and today in this video we are going to learn how to set up a mailbox in CRM. So let's get into the video. We all are familiar with the fact that one of the primary reasons people use Microsoft Dynamics CRM is to store emails, appointments, contacts and tasks in one place allowing individuals and teams to have a comprehensive record of client communication. This improves efficiency, maintains data accuracy, enhances collaboration and enables better follow-up and reporting capabilities within your CRM environment. And in order to set up mailbox, first we will log in inside our Dynamics application and we'll go to the settings and we'll click on advanced settings. Now here click on this drop down and go to email configuration option. Once you will click on email configuration, there will be multiple options to select on. We will go to email server profiles. This basically defines the connection settings for integrating Dynamics 365 within email server. These are used when setting up mailboxes to enable the synchronization of emails between the email server and Dynamics 365. Now here we have a by default email server profile that is Microsoft Exchange Online. We will confirm if this particular profile is active or not. So I will select this, a new window will open up and we can see the status of this profile as active. Now I will click on save and close. Now again under the email configurations, click on email configuration settings. A new window will open up here firstly. Set the process email using server side synchronization option and for server profile select the option Microsoft Exchange Online which is selected by default. And for incoming emails this gives us multiple options that you can use when a user or a queue receives email messages. We will keep it as server side synchronization or email router. This will process the email messages directly from the user's or queue's inbox without using a forward or a sync mailbox. And in the similar way, for outgoing email, we will choose this particular option. Any appointment contact or task created or modified in Dynamics 365 will be synchronized with the user's calendar, address book and task list respectively in the email server. And similarly, these will be synchronized back to Dynamics 365. So for this, we will use server side synchronization. Click on OK. Now go to the mailboxes option and here we have by default active mailboxes in our organization. Here the easiest way is to user can search for the username in the top search bar. I will choose this particular mailbox. A new window will open up and this is how your mailbox looks like. Click on approve email. Click on OK. After that, we will click on this activate button and click on activate. After this, select this option test and enable mailbox. Now a dialog box will open up which says that after configuration is set, it will be tested. Click on OK. So you can go to this alerts tab and check that you have got all your messages for appointment, contact, task, synchronization and for incoming mail and for outgoing mail and you can check the same on your outlook as well. This particular action might take few seconds so you need to wait for some time. Once the email status is marked as success, now the user can track the emails inside Dynamics 365 and manage the conversation with the customer accordingly. Now let us test with a demonstration. So I will go to activities entity and I will create an email kind of activity. I'll click on email. I'm keeping the subject as Outlook email configuration. Now I will click on send. And here you can check that the status reason for this mail is sent. Now for the same, I can again go to my Outlook and can check if this mail has been sent or not. So here I can see it is visible in the sent items of my Outlook. 
and the same mail has been received by the recipient also. So by following all these steps, you can set up a mailbox in your CRM. Thank you and have a great day.